Oh, actually, I thought the tree clip there would actually be a little worse, but no, it fits fine. Little bit of space. That's going to make it a little worse, though. Oh, actually, no. Okay, that's, yeah, that's totally manageable. More space in the back. Little snow clipping on the pumpkin. Yeah, that's fine. Ground clipping, a little bit of grass, but that's fine, all things considered. I have a tall thingamajig in the specialized buildings. Where is it? Yeah, it's got the graffiti one. Hey, Turby. Hey, Devour. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any missions today. I'm going to take a little bit of a break to do some development work. Just because I'm a little behind because of what happened on Friday, and I just want to relax today, you know? Thinking we'll stick with the tans and the browns. Let's not do any blues or red. It's a little big. What was it? It was large hab. Yeah. That one's a little out of place, but... I think we could district the buildings instead. I think that would be better. So let's focus on two stories and one stories here, not the ruins. with the ranch tops. Yes, this is the same. This is Bekatov Falcon. Uh, it was used in the Arstoska campaign. We actually focused on this area for that campaign. That was forever ago. Hey, Platts, how you doing? How are you all doing, by the way? Um, TIOW 2 doesn't have any new buildings. These are all actually just from the original TIOW mod. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Can I fit a section there? Is that going to clip? Little bit of tree clipping. Yeah, it's fine. It helps hide the ladder too, so it's pretty nice. Yeah, so if I can get the tree clipped move where I can, I'll try, but it's a tough AO to work with. Can I fit a shed in there? Just a touch too big. Normally for AOs like these, I like to blend everything to the best of my ability. Oh, it didn't play, Larry. I think the voice might be busted. Here, let me do it for you. Ready? <clears throat> Pog, 11 months. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. 
There you go, Larry. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for the 11-month <laughs> resub at T3. I hope everything's doing well for you, IRL, my friend, and I hope you get a nice kick out of this dev stream. Now, this one I will do a uh, large one. I think a complex. Oh, we could actually do a complex there. Screw it. Little bit of clip right there. That's fine. Could actually put that right against that greenhouse and it'll be fine. The game showing Warcraft 3. Fuck. My bad, guys. Very, very good at making that mistake. <laughs> Thanks for the catch, though. I appreciate it. Showing fine now? Sweet. Where can this fit? But yeah, no, this stream is basically going to be going through what I'm going to essentially use as the AO. So that section over there, this section over here, maybe build up something right there. It's a nice, quiet hamlet where chaos started. I mean, it's... It's a good story. <laughs> it's generally where the chaos starts, right? I said I'd avoid reds, but I kind of like having the red right here. Just to at least have one, you know? It's nice. Send in goat team six. Let's say this stretch is more single buildings, one stories. Sky the Sark, thanks so much. Sorry, Sark. Shark, Jesus. Can't even pronounce anything right correctly. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. I thought I heard another one, but I guess my brain's playing tricks on me. Hope you keep enjoying the operations, my friend, and I hope you get a nice kick out of this dev stream. And Paladin, if you want to bring more people from ML, you're technically allowed to bring as many people as you want. Just get your reserves filled, and then you can, um, whatchamacallit, uh, you can have the rest join the Discord and come to open slotting, because based off of the community interest for this one, um, I think we're going to have plenty of open slots. Do I want to do... Because this is a, another good spot for like a two-story. Ah, screw it. We'll just mix them. Just checking all the floors personally to make sure there's nothing too, too crazy on the ground clip. That's why I like about TIOW buildings is they always add this extra space. So you can drag it up if you want, and it just makes it so much easier to build it on uneven terrain. That fits perfectly. But yeah, I wish more building mods did that, because it can be such a fucking pain in the ass to make things work if you can't give it a little bit of give. This building's a little tougher because it only has a few stairs there, but you can still make it work. The op is uh, next Sunday. And I 
don't know. I might actually open this one up to the public. I'll wait till Friday to see how many people we get in general slotting. And then I might actually use this as the MCO to say, hey, let's, uh, let's open it up a little bit. So we'll see. Yeah, this area, I'm going to focus a little more on one stories, though. And then I have a really stupid idea for how I'm going to build the uh, spawn base, but we'll see how that manifests. Little bit of branch clip right there, but it's not into a floor, so it's fine. There is fine. That's fine. Whew. What is this one? Um, Big Titty Bolter Bitch Deluxe with melee weaponry. Mm, Bolter Bitches. That's what it is, Platts. Uh, yeah, Tootie. I might build a few custom enemy kits, but otherwise we'll see. I want a non-graffiti version, yeah. Just that there's some open space. I'm, I'm going to be a little liberal with what I do with it, you know? Sometimes I'll put something down, sometimes I'll just keep it. Because I'm going to be honest, out of every map I've used, Beketov is like... One of the very few where it actually feels like a fucking village. Like, everyone has a different building space and whatnot. So it actually lets me get a lot of this uh, stuff going here. But it can easily blend in if I just replace the main buildings with CIOWs, for example. It just it fits. It fits very, very well. Yeah, so this one I'll high-rise a little bit just for the hell of it. Oh, as am I, 2D. We'll, we'll see how things go. That's going to be for a uh, probably different stream. Thinking either later today or tomorrow after I take a break, because that's going to be a pain in the butt, let's be honest. All right, then we got something right here I'm debating... Now let's get that big fucking spire I saw. Cause I don't think it's enterable, but I can just shove one in. It's his garden workers, hooray. They get little cram spaces <laughs> to work on pumpkins. Brilliant. All right, so this, I'm probably gonna turn that into a fob, and then here we'll keep uh, as is. So let's just get these hidden. A little concerned about that tree. How bad is it? That's eh, that's a little. Mm, I could use a smaller building. Keep using brown. Let's use dark tan. Plus, we'd need staff for those. So actually, two complexes would be a good call if I can fit them. Because that base is going to need personnel, so. You can just claim that this is a living quarters for it.
yeah. So this is going to be a project in on itself. I want to see how this is looking before we do that. But let's finish this town over here. Excellent. The ramp situation is going to be a little tough, though. That's a good question, Kane, and that's something that I'm going to have to budget. That's why I picked Beketov, because it's a very open map, so you're not going to lose a lot of frames from the map itself, but we are going to lose a lot of frames from the budgeting of replacing buildings. That's going to be the real toughie. Hey, Barb, how was your op? Or were you Zeus in it, or was Sparky Zeus in it? Then again, I think Sparky's taking a break, so I would assume you were Zeus in it, but could have been someone else from that community. It was something? That's good. Leia was Zeus in? Right. How'd she do? Yeah, so that one has a ramp. The other two do not. Imagine smooth 200 FPS. Well, it would be useless, Turvy, because you wouldn't be able to fucking see it. Terry with a Melta. Tootie, yes, I will be putting that in. Don't you worry. Ah, uh, French Eagle. Game Master, five done players. Nothing too fancy. A good mod for modern building. Hmm. You got to narrow it down further. Do you want something for Middle Eastern stuff? Do you want something for Russian, like Cherno-Russian stuff? And then you also have to be careful about buildings because some of them will, like, not even work. So if you take uh, the Morgadishu mod and try to use some of the buildings from there, I know the AI will clip through the buildings and pretend they're not there and shoot people through them. Same with the New York mod. Um... There's a few different good building packs out there. I mean, hell, if you go through... If you're willing to do the research, there's that. But if you look and see buildings that you like in certain maps, then you can, uh, they'll always have the dependencies with them. Then you can look at those dependencies to find what you want. The issue when you say something like modern building is you got to be a little more specific because there's a lot, but it just depends on your terrain. Again, this, this game is just a giant fucking rabbit hole when you really think about it. Just depends on how far you want to go down that hole. But yeah, Barb, that's all right. I mean, everyone's got to start somewhere, you know? Strange love, yeah. Yeah, that's generally how that works. <laughs> You'll find it in some YouTuber's VOD or... Funny enough, there's a few scripts I found digging into... Um, I was reviewing my PBOs about a few months ago to see what to delete. And I was merging them uh, through the Control-M feature because, you know, I didn't have the mod sets anymore. But I was going through maps and actually found a few scripts from like a 2018 op that I was a part of in a different community. And I was like, hmm, these are actually quite good. I'm going to reverse engineer a few of them. 
Funny how that works. Oh, I really do not like that greenhouse placement. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna have to hide that greenhouse too because it's like smack dab in the middle of where the fucking building would be, you know? But yeah, back to Barb saying everyone's got to start somewhere, you know? So with that free, I can open this space up a little more and do that. Strange love, I'm pretty sure there's other... You can use like 3 and Enhanced or Ace to set those up. I know MCC has one as well, but it's broken and you can't turn it off, and that's a pain in the ass. Northern part of Sarani has good stuff too. Again, it just depends on what you want. Did Eagle give a follow-up? KFC, Keck. Side note, I've noticed a lot of places have been coming out with like bur uh, chicken sandwiches and whatnot. I don't know if it's because of KFC or because of uh, Chick-fil-A, but I found that to be kind of funny. Everyone's jumping on a bandwagon. Here, let me let me uh, hit you guys with a conundrum, because this is on my mind. I'm not going to give any further details on it, but it's I can't get it out of my head. All right, so you're in a uh, town of uh, Pyrgos. So for those of you who don't know, that's the um, the second largest Arma three, um, out like the and on Altus, it's the second largest town. It's a big town, and you're doing an op where you and the enemy look very different. Uh, you're in like military fatigues, and the enemy's in like sci-fi gear and shit, and you have a lot of people playing, but then other people in a different squad start picking up enemy gear like face masks, uh, face masks and stuff, and they now look like the enemy. So you go up to them and you say, hey, you gotta be careful because if you do that, you're probably gonna get shot. If you shoot at my direction, I'll shoot you because if you look like a bad guy and you look like you're shooting at me, if it walks like a tor, uh, <laughs> if it walks like a horse and it talks like a horse, you know? And then five minutes later, you know, you go deeper into the town, squads get unorganized, someone turns a corner, and you see someone in enemy gear shooting in your direction, and you dome the motherfucker. And it turns out he was a friendly, but he was wearing enemy gear. So you go up there, you apologize profusely, and you medic him up because that's at least the right thing to do. Now, where in that situation is unprofessionalism. Of the guy that shot the dude that warned them of enemy PID and then ran up and still medicked him, apologized, but, you know, proved his point. Because there's, there's an op I played in a community a while ago that they're running something else now. And... I, there was an administrative issue that came up after the event where what I uh, did there back in the day, because that is legitimately what happened, and the admins were mad at me in that community because that was very unprofessional of me to shoot him. So that's why I'm asking, like, where's the unprofessionalism there? Because I don't get it. Like, I guess I'm too dense or too elitist now to think that, but I, that's why I'm asking you guys. Yeah, because he literally looked like an enemy and he shot. He wasn't shooting at me. He was shooting at a bad guy that if I turned the corner to the left, he was immediately there, but I didn't see him. I saw a guy across the street shooting at him. But, you know, since he was next to me, it looked like he was shooting at me and it was just an AI's inaccuracy. So I made a split second decision and shot him. And it's like, that's what confuses me. And that's why I left that group because I didn't want to deal with that. But they invited me to something else and I'm like, I... I don't want to do that. If that if people are allowed to pick up enemy gear and then I'm going to get in trouble for shooting them even though they look like the bad guy. It's, it's so stupid. 
but yeah, that that's something that's been on my mind for like the past hour. Because I had to remember why I left the group. Because I save every group I go to I actually save a few things uh, if I don't like the group or if something came up. Just so I don't forget like anything noteworthy. Because I don't ever want to make the same mistake twice, both for me and other things that happen. But yeah, I was reviewing that and I'm like, wait. <laughs> and I had the clips of it too. And I'm like, what? Because I know I like I can be abrasive a lot. Like if I am in a certain mood, I will I will be an asshole. And that actually happened recently, like last Thursday uh, in a TMTM op. And I I was the bad guy and I went back and apologized to a lot of people and made up for it the following week. Uh, but there's I guess I was just having a bad day because I don't even know what brought it on. But I watched that back and I'm like, dude, like. Why? I could speculate why, but I, I think that would reveal too much. It's just annoying. But, you know, I don't want to work somewhere that, you know, I'm going to be causing drama. Even if I really like the operation, which don't get me wrong, I did. It was a fun, for what it was, a very fun op. But I don't want to be in places where there's going to be issues created over what to me is considered common sense. Because at that point, you then have to find out what they also consider common sense or issues. And it's probably going to greatly defer from what you think, because Arma's a sandbox and everyone's entitled to their own opinions on the matter. But, you know, I don't, I don't want to be in places where drama's going to start over stupid shit. I already have enough of that in life. Did they file a hurt feelings report? <laughs> I'll send it to them next time. Yeah, I don't I don't know. So I'm I'm glad I'm in the right here after explaining it cuz I I could not for the life of me figure out. That's why I left the group too cuz I couldn't figure out how I was in the wrong and how I was the one being unprofessional. I'll admit I got a little heated when I was explaining, "Hey, I'm probably going to shoot you if you're wearing bad guy stuff." And I looked literally looked at everyone else and said, "Hey, for the record, I might shoot him." But that's because he literally looked like the people we were shooting at. He picked up his freaking face wear and his fucking um, armor and I'm like, and because, quote unquote, it had better stats. And I'm like, it's OK. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I'm just the bad guy, guys. Blame it all on me. Yeah, exactly. I would too, Kane. If I shot him and just snickered and said, hey, you shouldn't have been wearing PID stuff, I would also agree with you. But I literally ran up and went, oh, shit, because he dropped like a player because a year ago before um, Ace updated its ragdoll animations, you could tell when someone would ragdoll as a player, uh, especially if the AI are set to insta die when they're hit. So I freaked out, ran up and apologized to him. I medicked him up myself and I'm like, I I'm so sorry, man. But <sighs> it's annoying. What bugged me the most afterwards, I didn't say anything about it, but he kept the stuff on after I medicked him. And I'm like, ah. So I, I just kind of stuck to the back of the squad and let the squad do most of the shooting. Because I, I didn't want to get caught up in that again. Because I feel bad when I shoot someone. Because that's you literally fucking over someone else's experience, you know? And even when, like, you medic up and apologize, the damage is done. And I still feel like the bad guy. But it's like, whatever. I don't want to have to go to some place and walk through minefields to have an experience, you know? I'm not that motivated anymore. Back in the day, Liru would walk through <laughs> everything with rose-tinted glasses. I mean, my time in Star Sim, for example, is a great point about that. But these days, I just don't care enough. I've got too much shit to do on the side. Thanks, Don. Yeah. Hey, I mean, if Zeusine's taught me anything, when in doubt, blame the Zeus, right? Even if the Zeus had nothing to do with it. Funny enough, a month ago, this <laughs> I don't know why I'm remembering this. I was in an op that had no Zeus. And uh, it was like a pure mission file. 
and then there was someone in my squad not having a good time and just started yelling like this fucking Zeus is getting on my fucking nerves and all this stuff and I'm like uh buddy I hate to break it to you there's no Zeus and he goes what and I'm like yeah we're, we're playing a mission file with no Zeus where you're not listening to the brief he's like well what the fuck that guy looked like a Zeus remote controlled player and I'm like yeah we're using lambs buddy that they, they, they do that they, they do that buddy Calm down. <laughs> ah, fuck. See, and then in in non zeus missions, I love lambs. I love Hal. Like, I love all that because if you can make people believe they're playing a Zeus op from an AI mod when there is no Zeus, I think that's when those uh, mods shine because the CPU of the server handles everything. But, you know, when you're a Zeus and you have to micro that along with everything else you're doing, then I have gripes with them. But... Like I said, people, even when they're told it's not a Zeusop, forget, and then they go in thinking it's a Zeusop. It's great. I thought it was Blame 2D, yeah, right? So, honestly, I think the reason people gravitated towards Lambs is because there were some more famous YouTubers doing uh, Arma stuff, and they said Lambs was the best. And now that some of those people are now gravitating towards HAL, I am seeing a lot of communities also gravitate towards HAL. The issue I have is that people... HAL is a lot more complex. And no offense to some of these communities that are, you know, following the norm there, but they do not know how to set that stuff up. And it... It gets very messy. I was, um doing some stuff in another community about a month ago as well uh not streamed not recorded just to chill because he wanted some honest feedback and he somehow set up how to be how was it it was like vcom except uh we were going into a town and then everything immediately converged on us as we entered the town and just overwhelmed the hell out of us and he's like oh this wasn't supposed to be happening i'm like uh okay like it, <laughs> it went from uh, a simple like raid this compound and leave before QRF shows up to hey they knew you were coming now you're holding out in this building before you fucking die don't get me wrong I loved it but that's because I know how to exploit the AI when you get into a really bad situation <laughs> uh, everyone except me died within the first 10 minutes it was hilarious I wish I was uh, recording that one, too, because I would have made a cool video out of it. I know Devour, but... How do I put it? Not everyone's on the same level. And this is something I've actually been having to learn recently. Um, because everyone is at a different level than you, some are going to be better than you, some are going to be worse. It's hard to appeal to a median when everyone may or may not know how to do something, if that makes any sense. That's why I love tutorial videos. But I hate tutorial videos that always assume that people know how to do X, Y, Z and claim it's trivial. And, and I've been trying to, at least in the more recent videos I've done, uh, I try to explain every little fucking thing, especially in the YouTube videos. And then if I don't explain, I'll say, yes, I'm gonna explain this later because it might be merited to its own concept. Gosh, we've got on a total fucking sideways rant here. How are you guys doing? I'm so sorry. I just, a lot has been randomly on my mind going through everything, so. Just been working on that while casually building these fucking, <laughs> these positions. I don't think I've been checking the interiors, though. I've just been basing it off of the stairwell level, which is another way to do it after you know how the buildings work. Do you know any videos showing better tips with Zeusing, uh, Zeusing with mods? Universe, not really. They've been on my to-do list forever, and I just haven't gotten around to it. That's my fault.
Yeah, I know it will be player, but I, uh, I don't know. I just, how do I put it? There's an old comic I saw a while ago of someone that was collecting balloons and the balloons all had the word idea written on them. And eventually that dude collected so many that he flew away. That's pretty much me. I try to tackle way too many things at once and then I'm forced to drop things and shelf them. And then I rarely get back to them once I've shelved them. And I need to finally just go back, look on the shelf, because the shelf is its own document that I have. And I just need to start bashing things out from the shelf. Because otherwise, it's <laughs> who the hell knows when they're going to get done. I made some good progress, though. I, um, I was just in a mood a few days ago. And I... Whatchamacallit. Oh, is Tootie calling out fucking <laughs> sports stuff? That's pretty funny. And I completely lost my train of thought. God damn it. I'm also a giant fucking scatterbrain. I think the guide I made forever ago was what, like, it's now four or five years old and things have updated since. The concepts are all still the same. The theory behind it's all still solid, but... Still a lot to work with. Um, this will be a one-use village, Killer Boy. This is um for a one-off event. But I've always stated that MCOs are literally project level, and then for those of you that don't know what projects are, project for me is like something that'll take about four, like the actual forty hours of testing. I always claim to do. But it's the 40 hours of building, developing, writing, testing, and then the actual event itself, the deploying. Now that is fucking perfect. Let's put it up by there so we can have that area back there as well, and we can lift it a bit so it doesn't clip into the ground. The UEFA finals. Dude, I'm going to be honest with you. Don't hate me for saying this. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm not really well versed in sports anymore. I've just kind of let myself get buried under my work and unpacking. And then letting the channel explode by exploiting some loopholes that I've been... I was publishing and I slowed down because I moved in. I'm probably going to get back in on that and turn Wednesday into a dedicated tutorial day. That's my plan. But it's probably not going to happen for another three weeks because today I'm going to finish unpacking what I brought from last Tuesday. And then this coming Tuesday, I'm going to bring in the last of the stuff and then get that unpacked. Uh, and then focus back on the YouTube algorithm videos. And then can I clip it so it's like that? Nope, it fence isn't tall enough. A little bit of a high step there. A little bit of clipping. Yeah, it's not worth it. Let's bring it back there instead. Besides, it needs to be access back there so the graffiti can actually be done. But, you know, turning like the Wednesday 3 p.m. upload time into like a dedicated tutorial date, you know, just to tackle random questions or random things because I need to get back into it because it's fun to do that. I'm just a goober. Oh, yeah, I said this would be the... Um the complex block. But no, the other two story, the large. Yeah. The gray quarter. But yeah, just, you know, more stuff to do. So little time. Yadi da. Yeah, Kane, but how do I put it? <clears throat> There's not enough for you to build like your own custom town, but there's enough for you to blend everything together. Because let's be honest, this looks cool. This looks... The only thing out of place is the red building, but I like it there because, you know, there's always going to be one little thing out of place in a fucking village. But this, this actually... This looks good. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Like, this looks well blended. And this is like believable mixing 40k assets with what's on the map. And this is the best thing you can do in map development after taking a map and then wanting to repurpose it. It's 40k-esque. 
And that is the best you can get in terms of balancing for frames and balancing for appeal of the actual what you're doing, you know? I don't know, just me. Whew. And then I'm also, um, I put a lot of emphasis on YouTube this month. Uh, not in the sense of how to, let me define the emphasis. Basically just algorithm stuff. So I will admit that's where a lot of the time in the beginning of the month went. And as well as uh, late last month while I was moving in, because I wanted to, how do I put it? Basically make sure that my income on YouTube was going to be fine going forward because now that I have bills to pay and two mouths to feed, I need to make sure all of that goes well, you know? So focus on my income first and we focus on all the fun projects. Go from there. Yeah, Kane, and that's that's something that they're working on, but there's so many different things. So the TIOW dev group has had a few hardships in the fact that some people have just stopped working on this stuff. Other people have come on and started working on the stuff, but they, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, there's devs focusing on various different things. God damn it. It's this. Yeah, it's this. I keep getting them confused in my head. So they've got a lot of people working on different aspects of what they want to bring in. I'm actually... Oh, shit. Wait, there's only three colors for this. Hot damn. Hoping for some more tans, but we can do gray. That's why I was getting confused. Like, Web Knight is working on a lot of model stuff right now for not just TIOW, but he's also working on some um, aftermath stuff. But... Fuck, what was my point? My point is that just the devs are all focused on a bunch of other things right now. Next pay for pain, uh, I'm going to start that development after MCO dev uh, concludes. I might take a week or two off from MCO time just to work on pay for pain, but it also depends on my schedule. So we'll see. All right, then I still have that village to do up there, and then we can start building that, and then I might build something around that. And we'll see what else is available, because I might put more down, but I also need to start frame benchmarking. Resident Evil Warhammer Village. I, I don't think that would do what you're... <laughs> I don't think that's going to work in the way you think it's going to work. This one you actually don't have to worry about clipping, because there's no interior. It's just for the rooftops. But yeah, there's there's still a lot I need to do across these channel. Uh, just the whole Liru franchise, I guess, for lack of a better term. And I just want it all to be get. Uh, I just want it all to be get done. Jeez, I cannot English today. I just want to get it all done by the end of August would be preferred, but we'll see. Oh no, I'm gonna need a lot more space. Yeah, let's just do a one story. Hey, right oh funny. Oh, uh <laughs> I read the rest of his name. <laughs> I um 
I hope you've been able to laugh at the uh, the furry versus Black Templar vids. Because I, I had a long talk with Granite about that, too. And it's like, we do want to make sure that people understand that this is just a parody op. It is a joke. Please do not take it seriously. And don't get into it to the point that it's kind of weird that you're getting into it, you know? That's that's my number one fear about this channel stuff. Is people see it and they'll get, they're going to take it, like, way too fucking far. And it's like, dude, we're just we're just having fun. Because there's been so many fucking drama incidents I've been in where people have taken just having fun way too fucking far for whatever reason. Whether it be to have an ego stroked or just because they're just that unempathetic about things. I try to avoid those people nowadays. Unless I get paid to. Anyway. Granted, is the TSB furry representative? <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna dispute that one. Because uh, it's one. it's a funny. <laughs> uh, I can't even English. When ninety percent of your content is shit posted. Let's be honest about it. All right. The amount of highlights I spam, you could argue that my channel is literally just a giant shitpost network, okay? And some of it's good shitposting, but some of it is definitely not good shitposting, alright? I think we can all agree on that. It's just a place for me to fuck around and maybe find out. Who knows? It's just fun. Getting into it, you mean the gate op and the 2D? Yes, oh my god, when I would chase people around that fucking 2D image of Rory, people would lose their fucking minds. I thought that was hilarious. Fuck it, I'm gonna throw a complex on that. Seems a little out of place though. We're gonna keep the black warehouse buildings instead. Maybe I could just do a tall. Yeah, the clip isn't too, too bad, and it does take in some of those, but that's fine. That works. What was King supposed to be doing, Nani? <laughs> Fun in video games and Arma specifically? Yeah, that is pure blasphemy, right? Mm. Oh, God, Earth Knight. I remember some of the comments I would get in the Trump wall video. I was under the firm belief when I started my channel that I would never censor a comment because I believed in, you know, people's right to say whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, no, that went away very quickly. Holy crap. The amount of trolls, the inflammatory shit, it was funny. And then reading the replies. I let that go way too far, though, but that's also why the videos kept growing is because people kept replying and adding to the algorithm, showing people that people would come back to that video and give more comments. But like that's why it grew so well, but holy fuck, I was laughing my ass off over what was being said. Now you cannot get away with that on YouTube anymore. I used to have a, a clip called when you get arrested for um, having emails that can lead to Hillary Clinton's arrest, that old clip, literally from 2016. Uh, it started going viral in like mid 2018 or something. Might have been 2017 even. I still have the email, but um, YouTube fucking ad blocked it, demonetized it, and then gave me another email saying that they were unlisting it. And then it literally just got deleted from YouTube like two days later. And I'm like, huh, there's YouTube's liberal agenda at work, eh? <laughs> 
Oh, man. Just as a meme video that just started randomly going viral, and YouTube was like, ah, we ain't having that, Chief. None of that today. I thought that was funny as fuck. I'm gonna cram this thing in here. They made it work, damn it. Even though they're heretics now, but they made it work. That actually fits in very well. Nice. Ground is level. Oh shit, wait. Nope, the wells. Yep. Yeah, no, that. <laughs> it hugs the the terrain there, but it, it works. That's all we need. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't I don't touch or follow politics. Cause so <laughs> Politics, especially in the States, is literally just about digging up random bullshit that happened 10 years ago. That's also part of the reason why I, like, deleted my Facebook. I deleted every social media thing I had. I stopped using them at uh, my senior year of high school and just purged it all. You don't need that stress in your life or something you said when something was fresh and new coming back to bite you in the ass 10 years later. No one's got time for that level of pettiness. But people will go miles just to fuck each other over. And it's that level of effort that I actually deeply respect because my channel took that level of effort to take off. Even with YouTube fucking me over with the blacklist for, what, 2018 to late 20... Yeah, late 2020, technically. It was in December when we got off of it, but... Digression aside, what I've learned is you always want to just be neutral about everything. Don't get on anyone's bad side. Don't burn any bridges. But if you intend not to do something, make your intent known. And then just drop it off. I don't know how politics works in other places, but... Whew been around the block quite a few times and all this YouTube and Twitch stuff and I know exactly what I'm gonna touch and what I'm not gonna touch with a 10-foot pole even if I'm paid to do it nope there's also a reason why we uh <laughs> for example if you're on the Warcraft 3 stream last night we're like all right we're gonna cut the stream but we're gonna keep playing we're gonna play the illegally banned game modes oh those are fun It's a shame, though, because one of them, uh, it has pumped up kicks on the loop and uh, remastered broke it. So now the song doesn't loop anymore. So it's very, very sad. It's not even Blizzard's fault. It's fucking Activision's money grabbing bullshit. But I'm not going to get into that. So if, if you want to enjoy uh, our game of hide and seek that we play after we stop the stream, you're going to have to loot pumped up kicks on your own side, unfortunately. Zam, Zam, you can't say that in chat, man. You could get banned from Twitch on that uh, for saying stuff like that, man. You can't do that. <laughs> And then our other one is called uh, Cops and Robbers. We, we just play Cops and Robbers, but it's uh, in Chicago. And the, uh, the robbers are called something else, but yeah. It's a fun game mode, though. It does get boring very quickly, though, if you want to do multiple rounds. We're reaching idocracy. Buddy, we've already been there. I'd say we've been there since the early 2000s. When the world started rejecting climate change research, that's when I knew we were in trouble. So now I treat this all as we're all screwed and enjoy the uh, <laughs> enjoy the time you have left because your kids might not be able to, but shrug. Welcome to the world we live in. Yeah, Don also replying with, yeah, reaching question mark. Nah, fam, we there. We're totally fucking there.
<sighs> oh well. I hope the content helps ease the pain. <laughs> and if not, hey, Lo-Fi, uh, Chilled Cow's channel, which is now Lo-Fi Girl, I think, made all their music you can listen to and stream for free as long as you link it somewhere. And that's what we got the music command for, baby. Which, oh, I don't have the music command up. It's multi. Whoops. There we go. Let me also check my phone real quick. Sorry if you hear buzzing. I just have to make sure that Bloodwing isn't texting me asking me for stuff. <sighs> nah, actually, fuck it. We'll do a red one. Having one out of place on the other side of town would be weird. Having two out of place on opposite sides of town indicates that there was enough left over to build a second. Why? Because someone's rich. <laughs> yes, Eden Editor streams, I do take suggestions when I can read chat. But sometimes I have to actually look at where I'm placing stuff. So you got to give me a hot second. You might even have to repeat yourself. And for that, I do apologize. But it takes me a second. I got to focus on the building. Thank you, Zos. Ah. Fuck Faith. Okay, Faith, you can't... Um, fuck. You can't blame Faith for what she does because Faith literally tells you that she was fucking kidnapped and fucking drugged and she's not the first Faith. Like there were multiple Faiths behind her. So you can't blame Faith because Faith is literally just this brainwashed puppy that you have to put down. And it's actually quite sad. Unless you mean a different entication of the word fuck, in which case, all right, more power to you. I'm not gonna question what you're into, because I know there's a lot of weird things people are into these days. <laughs> uh, look, I learned from my ex, guys. Never stick your dick in crazy. Okay? Never. Because you're gonna fucking regret it. Trust me. Yeah, I won't turn that off. Actually, dynamic simming the buildings actually wouldn't be that bad of an idea. So I might put that on for all the buildings to save a handful of frames. Because they are all dynamic simmed because of the door. But it also means from a long distance you can't blow them up. So yeah, no, I might, I might actually go back and fix that. What's the hotkey for it? Ah, whatever. I can just manually do it. Oh god, what did Paladin say? <laughs> curb the horny? Yes, please curb the fucking horny, alright? This isn't Barbarian Weeb. This is Liru. <laughs> JK. I'm thinking one of these days, I want to do what Zorin did and read a fucking, uh, like, etchy anime novel thingy, and I'll fucking get a buddy of mine who does voice acting work, and we might just fuck around for a stream. I gotta clear that with Twitch rules, though. Surgeons are crazy for shoving the- oh, god, that is... <laughs> That is some advanced level dark humor, sir, and I applaud you for it. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, we'll get Bloodwing with that, but wow, that. Zoshin, that was a good one, buddy. That was a very, very good one. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Yeah, a few tall buildings over here that's definitely in, like, different districts, which I like. Yeah. 
And then spawn can be over here. So the AO itself. Let me get a cover map module out. Yeah, we can just hey, ignore that. I might rebuild that one too. We could also build something right here. Yeah, keeping all of this stuff down too would be pretty decent. Let's look in the direction and see how the frames are. This is a very rough benchmark. Because we still have a lot of stuff on the ground. But I want to see it. Falcon, yeah, I might allocate some time for Phasmo, probably at 9 or 10. Uh, I'm not going to do it in VR, though. I'm probably just going to do it with a uh, regular screen. I am a fucking god. Anyway... So with that, I definitely have room to build that into a fob. I have the room to build that into something, and I can build that into a fob. How's the terrain level? So it's slightly down slope. Mm. Probably a ramp in the middle then. But yeah, fence it off accordingly. By the way, for the record, when I say, or eh, when I whisper shit like that, it's not me stroking off my own god complex. It's me simply showing excitement for the fact that I can pull this shit off and still have good frames. Because, in my opinion, that is the pinnacle of Zeusing and mission making. You have all of the knowledge, you can build whatever you want. Now build it within Arma 3's own restraints so you can still maximize your FPS and the player's playability. So, yes, I do celebrate those little wins. But I remember someone, um... This was actually a while ago. I think this was over a year ago. Someone took clips of me, like, whispering those things and claimed I had, like, an ego and a god complex. I'm like, nah, dude, that's just me fucking enjoying the fact that I can build this shit because not that many people can. I'm gonna have to do part flip. I hate part flip because when you flip it, it's not aligned and it pisses me off. Part flip is when you copy and paste something on the bottom of it so you can extend the range. Uh, Cause especially since this is on a hill, you have to do that. But I just flipped it completely 180 and it you still have to drag it into place. And I fucking hate that. It's not symmetrical. I'll probably have to green wall. So use those and actually like build a perimeter around it too. Don, when's the last time I blew I blew out the mic? I'm actually trying to think. Have I done that recently? Never? Oh, thank God. So I was about to say, like, yeah, no, I agree with you. I fucking hate that. Wait, you're bringing it up. Have I been doing that? Oh, shit, you know? Because I never 
do things that I don't appreciate myself. That's my fucking Zeus motto right there. If I'm going to do something to someone, I want to make sure they at least enjoy it. And if they don't, then what the fuck, you know? Yeah, that one's fine, but the other one... <laughs> we'll do two and then ramp it the other way Double level it now. Digby's level of screaming is just weird. Not gonna lie, I forgot Digby existed. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I need to get with Yash. She sent me some new audio equipment. I gotta go get that set up, which I'm excited to go do. We'll see how all that works. But yeah, more recently, I've actually been keeping track of um, some Warcraft 3 streamers. I finally found a guy who does um, like a lot of custom game stuff. I love me some Warcraft 3 custom games because it's fun to play in the background while you're working. So if I'm like editing a shit ton of footage. Um... You know, it's fun to have that going in the background. I didn't mean that as an insult, by the way, to Digby. No, I just, I legitimately haven't really been looking into, no, no, how do I word this? I don't look into Twitch during prime time for Arma 3 streaming because I'm usually streaming during what would be considered prime time, you know, like when everyone else is streaming. Uh, I only go on Twitch to look at people usually at like the dead of night because that's when I go to do my background audio, you know? So I didn't mean it as an insult. I'd never mean stuff like that as insults. Uh, it's just I, I forgot that he existed, you know? Because I just simply don't follow him. And the reason for that is because he blew me off over something that happened a few years ago, and I'm over it. But, you know, it's just I don't think to do that because of that natural bias I have. That's all. It's also why I stopped doing freebie work is because, you know, at least if I'm getting paid for something, I'll have the pay. But if I don't, then nah, not worth it. This should be good. So I have to figure out what that extension is for why I don't have that space. That's because that's bulging out slightly. Okay. So I can actually fix that and then just drag that in and align it. No, I want all Send of it. Send in GOAT Team 6 now. Hello, hello. Monthly reminder to make sure you have enough free time for yourself. And no, time you spend moving is not free time. Mod, I'm going to be honest with you. That has been one of the toughest things I've been having to deal with over the past month and i will say only recently i've been giving myself that time uh for example i took all of i was gonna do some stuff today i didn't have time to do it because i was gonna set it up friday night and uh friday night had to deal with something else uh irl that came up so i could have either slaved away and gotten it done or just taken today off and i decided to take today off so i'm i'm doing my best to 
because when I don't give myself free time, I burn the fuck out. And I, <laughs> it's not like a simple burnout. It's I literally become Icarus and just flay the <laughs> flare the fuck up in the starlight. But yeah, I know. Thank you for the reminder, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the 49 month resub. One month into that diamond badge, man. I love it. Regardless, hope you keep enjoying everything. And I hope you, uh, well, yeah, I hope you continue to enjoy everything, man. Seriously, it means a lot. Ty, brain just went dead halfway through that. But seriously, always appreciate it. Wait, what do you mean by IG for Instagram? Because that's what I understand IG, because Bloodwing has an Instagram. So please pardon my ignorance. I burn out so much the PS4 was went damn. I've only had four big... Th this would actually be burnout number five, but it's not really... This isn't a burnout. This is just I didn't have the time to set things up. I think I've only been burned out four or five times across the past five years. Is there like a middle section... Let's keep that pattern going. Imperial Guard. Mentally broken? Not since high school. If I'm being honest. The composition, yes, I still need to review that. Admittedly. We've been over an hour. We got a lot done for the hour, though, so I'm happy with it. Like, Devour, I went through it when I got it, like, what, three weeks ago? Four weeks ago? And I haven't really touched it since. Because I had to put a lot of stuff down to then work on other stuff. I don't like that bulge out right there. It feels a little sloppy to me. But the difference would then mean I have to take out a little bit of extra space right there. So actually I could, we could turn it to like a gun emplacement. It's like a little last cannon or something poking out right there. Yeah, it wouldn't be too bad. That's what I do for these open corners. I just turn them into gun positions. Right on, Mr. Medieval. Thanks for dropping by. Always a pleasure. The Rooftop High Rise Mission. What map? I did it for someone else. Hmm, what community? Help me jog my memory. Was it the TM TM up? No, it wasn't 501st. I haven't. <laughs> no, 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 no. It had to have been. If it was VR, it was 506. A VR rooftop high rise mission. In VR? The only VR missions I recall that I've done are um, 
the TMTM one, and then I took that idea and I did it for TSB, and then the 40K one. Yeah, I think you're thinking of the TMTM one, the um, Kaspersky that Sky Online made. But we also like drove around in the vehicles at infinite ammo and I just had a lot of fun going Burt Burt, right? That had to have been it. Otherwise, I don't know. Wasn't that one? Hmm. If you got a link, it's infantry only. I... I Look up 506 videos then, because I keep them all in playlists. But I genuinely don't remember. Yeah, so here we can put some buildings, but down here I'm actually just going to set up some sky shields. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, I, I genuinely don't recall. Yeah, good luck. I could delete them here. But right there is where we start to see the underlying stack with that. Yeah, so we'll keep those. And then I'm going to probably have to clip that wall. And then we're going to have to install the green wall. I do have some... Mill... Yeah. Start grabbing everything. Bigger means they may... Okay. Yeah. They're differently sized. That's nice. Those are the same, though. Rolled sides. What does... I think it means the doors can open and close then, in which case I'll get rid of that. So I think this is like Space Marine and that's like normal. If it's supposed to be bigger, because that would make sense if it's upscaled. In truth, I will go ahead and do that. Hmm. I think I'm going to wall off the side of the cot, like the sides, and then I'll probably call it for this stream, take a small break and work on some other stuff. Let's get that going. Because I never like to work on something for too long because then I start getting into a mood of eh.
and I'm not as quick to catch things. Yeah, we're gonna have to clip. Fuck, that's fine. I like the uniformity of that, though. That's pretty dope. And then we patch it there before it becomes an area where they could potentially vault over the wall. How big is a uh, person right there? Because I think they could also do it there, too. Uh, no, that's too big. All right, cool. Though I think they could still climb on top of each other, so I'll patch it there. All right. So, things we still got to do. I have to fill this interior. I have to do that village. Maybe do a custom fob there. Do something cute there. And then I want to also build around that Titan Forge as well. But this is starting to formulate into a good AO. Maybe something right there as well, too. Uh, I'm thinking, though, let's do this, that, and that. Do another frame test and then see if I have the room to add to there. But if they spawn here and I have them fight through this forest to get up here, though, that should be okay. But if that's the case, uh, with it being that small of an AO, I'll probably have them fly Valks only. We'll see. Any tasty food? 
Bloodwind made some really good uh, meatballs and potatoes the other day. It was pretty good. But anyway, I am going to call it here and take a small break. I might be back uh, in about an hour to stream for another hour or two before I have DND. So thank you so much for watching and chilling with me, guys. Go operate operationally. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. I might still build some of this while I work on some video footage. But otherwise, cheers, guys. Have a good one.